really thank you, thanks very much. Uh, it's a great honor. We are very proud and very happy uh, to see this great uh, workshop this, and this conference in general, this workshop in particular today, organized uh, here in our university. It's really a, a great honor. Thanks very much to uh, Clement and Justin, of course. Thanks for uh, all, all, all of you and particularly the speakers. Uh, that's really first. The second is that, uh, of course, you see that my English is not so good, so I hope that your ear won't bleed uh, <laughs> with my accent. And so I start by to apologize, uh, offer. I'm sorry, I, I'm obliged to apologize, you know that. Uh -huh, because I. <laughs> Remember that English is a dialect of French. Yes, English is a dialect of French, it's true, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, each language is a dialect of something, you know. Uh, for English, it's French, but okay. <laughs> so, uh, we, they, they, they couldn't have chosen something bad. But it's not the case. So, uh, I, um, it's difficult, of course, to summarize uh, so many discussions, so, 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 so many points of view. Uh, what uh, did uh, we understood? We understood that the uh, small is beautiful, okay, that's great. But what is microlith? It's, uh, it's not easy to know exactly what is microlith, where does it start, when does it stop, and so on. Uh, something very interesting for me, of course, is uh, all the Theoretical opposition, is it correct? Theoretical opposition uh, between uh, different positions that we have uh, heard today. Uh, for instance, is it possible to define uh, absolute limit of uh, what is a microlit everywhere in Australia, in South Africa, uh, in Finland, even in England, and so on? And uh, no, I stop with England. Okay, but I'm <laughs> so, I'm so, no, <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, you understand. Uh, so, uh, is it possible to define a precise limit of wh what is a, a microlit, or is it always a, something relative? I mean, is it related to other things, as a blade, for instance? So, we, we can define a microlite because we have microlite. Uh, or is it really possible to have a, pre uh, a universal definition? Behind this question, uh, it's a question, uh, another, uh, another theoretical opposition between two, two positions. Uh, industry, we could imagine that industry have their something, uh, I don't know how to say that correctly, but their own, own rules, their own evolution. Uh, what I want to mean is that uh, we, don't, we, we don't care uh, about uh, the socio-economical context, we don't care about different uh, elements, we just see what could be the evolution of an industry in general, like for instance, uh, evolution of the debitage le valoir uh, in different parts of the world, but without uh, taking into account the socio-economical context and the, and the particular situation that, uh, we, 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 uh, that, you could have, that you could have here or here. Or you think that uh, socio-economical context is the most important thing which determined an industry to be like that and not uh, to, to, to be like that. And it's this, this for me, this is the, the real uh, theoretical opposition. And behind this uh, real uh, theoretical opposition is a question by which, uh, which I started to see if it's possible to have absolute limit uh, to, to define microlites or not. Uh, and of course, uh, it gives uh, some uh, great difference in, uh, in terms of uh, methodological approach. Uh, this discussion offered to me to say something about uh, the, the, the opposition which is uh, uh, often uh, seen between the chain operator approach uh, as a an approach which is not very quantitative and the, quanti and the quantitative approach. In fact, for me, the difference is not here, it's not between qualitative and quantitative. Uh, the difference is not here, the difference is between an approach which define, uh, uh, predefine uh, the criteria and predefine the quantitative uh, parameters that uh, she will apply, and this is the quantitative approach. Uh, uh, in a, in a, that uh, we, we that uh, some someone of you and a lot of people follow, and the chain operator approach, who is also which is also a quantitative approach, but the this is by the analysis that you finally define the good 
quantitative uh, data that you want to, to show. You see the difference? Is, for me, the difference is there. There is not one quantitative and the other qualitative. Both are qu quantitative, but one is pre predefined the, qu the, the quantitative uh, parameter, and the other one uh, uh, defined by the analysis uh, where are exactly the good limit for us, for instance. Uh, uh, it means that for us, of course, a bladelet uh, there is no one size of bladelet all over the world. There is a bladelet could uh, exist, but a bladelet could have could be a length of two by one by uh, one millimeters, and uh, it could be uh, bigger, smaller, and so on. It, it depends if the, uh, the analysis is um, give us the possibility to show exactly what are, where are the, the the right and the good limit you know, in quantitative point of view. My English is clear. is it clear or not? Yeah, really. <laughs> because sometimes I don't understand. I don't understand myself. So uh, <laughs> okay. But anyway, even if uh, you understand that I follow the second way, me, I, I'm a chain operator approach uh, scholar. Uh, even that, we have all of us. Uh, even if we follow one uh, one way or the other way, we have to explain some success. And it's true that at certain moment during uh, the prehistory, uh, one, some success exists, and particularly the microlithization. It's true that it's a success which could have uh, appeared at one moment, disappeared, reappeared, and so on and so on, and we have to explain that. And particularly, it's true that during the late Pleistocene, and particularly at the, uh, at the onset between the Pleistocene and the Holocene, in different parts of the world, the, micro the small things that we could call microlites, uh, have a new, uh, a great success, and that we have to explain that. Uh, among the different uh, way of uh, of interpretation that uh, we have heard today, there is a lot. I think that you will summarize after Justin the different way uh, that uh, we have heard today. Um, I would like to say that for me, first things is that we have to determine if the small size is not linked, of course, to the to the raw material. It's uh, basically the first question. Uh, if there is a, a strong uh, raw material constraints, it's very difficult to pronounce for us, you know, the constraints. <laughs> so if there is a strong raw material constraints, of course, it's uh, we have to start by this explanation, yeah, of course. So, first step, for instance, it's a discussion that we have heard uh, with else and uh, if there is a strong raw material constraints or not. If there is not a raw material constraints, for me, the best way to interpret to interpret the the, the microlithization is linked to the question of mobility and anticipation. I think it's really the best way to understand why, at certain moment, people want to uh, know to, to to have tools in general. When I say tools, I don't mean uh, weapons or domestic tools, but have uh, an equipment, lithic equipment, which is uh, smaller and smaller in size. It's a. Uh, I think it's. Quite always linked to the question of mobility and the the the, the needs to, uh, to to for circulation and diffusion of object or people uh, in a larger scale of uh, of, uh, of te te territory. That's my point of view. I think a lot of point of view, uh, a lot of people, a lot of you say the same thing today, and I I, I agree. I really agree with that. So it means what? It means that me, when I read an article or uh, any books uh, in prehistory, and when I see that uh, the scholar is reading something about a small industry or microlithization, uh, for me, what are the, th the three questions that I want to see developed? First, as I said before, the question of the constraints of the raw material. That's the first. We have to know exactly what are the raw material sources to be able to determine uh, the choice that people had, of course, first. Secondly, if possible, we have to, to, to have an idea of the function of the tools made, of course, uh, because uh, it's true that uh, the function is also a constraint. You can uh, put a big bifas uh, and axes uh, on a arrowhead, <laughs> no, as a arrowhead, of course, so you have a, there is a, a you use as a constraints and an important constraints of the size about uh, on the size of the tools, but the most of the time, unfortunately, uh, and I look uh, <laughs> Marlies, we don't know even uh, even if you do a wonderful job, <laughs> you and all the the, the the people who work on micro analysis and uh, analysis of the residues, most of the time we don't know exactly at uh, what the purpose uh, is uh, is in front of us when we are looking for where, where, when we are looking uh, tools, uh, but. 
we could try to, to, to have an idea of that, to know if, uh, if uh, the diminution of size is linked to the question of, uh, of use. And the third question for me is mobility. Voilà. Uh, and mobility means to have a good, uh, good idea of uh, where are coming from the raw material and so on and so on, to see if the diminution of size is linked to extension of the size of the territory, circulation of tools in space and so on and so on. That for me, the, the three questions that I, I want to see I will be the guy who the, the article could uh, employ different uh, words, uh, microliths if you want, small if you want, even mod 5, even if I think that mod is a... Uh, I, I prefer to don't say what I think about mod as for England, <laughs> but uh, no, I'm, I'm joking. Uh, but uh, but if, all, all, well, you can use different terminology, but for me I want to see the different uh, description about uh, raw material, if possible, use, and discussion about mobility. Uh, so, what kind of terminology uh, should we use? Uh, today, a lot of different uh, propositions uh, have been uh, pronounced, and it's very interesting. It's also very interesting to see uh, the story of each, each of us, the school, where we are coming from, which give us also the idea to go in that way or in that way in terminology, for instance, uh, microliths and uh, syncylite is very interesting, but I see behind that uh, formal and formal. Uh, I see the, the same idea to, to distinguish something formal and something informal with uh, other words. Because for me, it's true that microliths is not ob it's not obligation that microliths is retouched, for instance. I think it's really a South African, uh, perhaps a tradition of research. As the, the, the role that we give to the BACT also, uh, as Clément has shown, is really could be seen as a linked to the tradition of leaky, for instance, because it of, also for a lot of people, the fact that something is backed or not backed is not uh, is not at all uh, has nothing to see with uh, with uh, has something to see with microlites, but not really. In fact, in fact, in, I think it's uh, it's the contrary. M microlites, because it's very small, need to be after, of course, the most of the time, not all the time, but the most of the time, and it, of course, the fact to do a back retouch is one of the solutions, not, not, not the only one, but one of the solutions which has been employed to uh, facilitate uh, to haft. So it's totally normal that a lot of microlites are backed. But you, we, 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 it's, uh, I think it, it's not true to, to uh, do the, the to, uh, to renverser. To, to do the opposite uh, in, in the, in, in the, voilà. It's, uh, you, you understood what I want to mean? Okay. Sorry. Uh, so for me, back, I understand the tradition of leaky, but you see, so what terminology? Really, I don't know. I know that now uh, Justin will uh, will uh, uh, con continue the discussion is in a much better English, I think. But uh, even if you do some mistake, I'm not. No, no, I'm joking. Uh, uh, but me, I have no good terminology to give. What I I would like to say to to finish my uh, small my, my my short talk is that for me. I prefer to use microliths, microliths, mi mi microliths, in a specific context or in a specific question. As uh, said today, uh, Marlies, uh, terminology is linked to the questions that we have and not the contrary for me. And for instance, I'm very interested in the definition of what is a uh, microlite tips, for instance. And for me, it's a tips, I mean a, a part of a weapon, the point of the, is it correct tips? Point to point is better. And it's true that it's very interesting to compare, for instance, uh, micro Levalois points uh, with other kind of points, even uh, in, in different parts of the world. We could have a comparison. It's, it's interesting to, to, to do a comparison of different kind of points if we are sure that they are afted at the... À uh, on the end. Yeah. Uh, on the end, voilà, on the end of the, of the shaft. It's interesting, of course, if it's a lateral, uh, if it's mounted in lateral, it's a, it's a totally different uh, question, but it's interesting also. But for me, voilà, microlite points on different form, different technology, it's, it's of course interesting to see that. Uh, it's interesting to well distinguish also uh, microlite components and microlite assemblage. I want to mean uh, a part of an assemblage which is microlite in comparison with another part of the same assemblage which is not microlite but which is not m microlite but macrolite. Well, um, my pronunciation is too bad. Uh, you either I or A, eh? you understood. Yeah. Okay, so it's interesting. Or a macrolite assemblage, I mean an, an assemblage which is totally macrolite. Uh, 
because perhaps the raw material uh, constraint is strong, but perhaps also because it, this is a choice, a particular choice to have all the diminution in size of all the assemblage uh, for the weapons, but also for uh, other, other kind of, uh, of, of tools. So for me, I, I, at this level of definition, it starts to be interesting, but not on a universal level. Voila, this is my uh, sh short con conclusion, and please now, uh, I give, uh, Justin, this is your turn to propose 